Gut. Anytime, Steve. Anytime for the Rednecks. Lass doch auch nicht jetzt äh, erstmal davon äh, beeinflussen, dass es jetzt äh, richtig viel Gelaber ist und relativ uninteressant. Es wird noch sehr interessant. Also glaubt uns einfach. Gut. Ah, das ist das, wo die Stephanie wohnt, ne? Genau, die Potsdam Residence, da wohnt unsere äh, Verlobte. Gehen wir da doch mal rein und besuchen sie mal. Ich erinnere mich an ihn. Hier ist mein future son-in-law. Und wie ist er heute? Was bringt ihn zu der Potsdam Haushalt? Hä? Huh? Hä? Huh? Die Musik des Fleischpusters. Hä? Hä? Die Musik des Fleischpusters. Hä? 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 Would I kid about something like that? Why won't you believe me? Well, you always were a kidder, Steve. Your mother just telephoned us about your latest shenanigans. Isn't that right, Mrs. Potsdam? Sure did, Mr. Potsdam. You little rascal. Imagination's a swell thing to have, in small amounts. Man needs to keep his feet on the ground, especially if he's getting married. <laughs> Tell me, is your father feeling better? Is he going back to the slaughterhouse anytime soon? Um... This is sick. I'm supposed to marry this Stephanie and I don't even know who she is. Now look, Steve. A joke is all well and good. But don't go scaring me like that. I'm not joking. Now look. A commitment is a commitment. You're going to marry my daughter. We'll be one happy family. And your dad's going to give me all the meat I want. Right? Right. Um, well, like a put it. Mrs. Potsdam grounded Stephanie. So, you better go ask her permission before you go upstairs. Sorry, Steve. The last thing I want to do is upset you and your father before the wedding. Not with the meat at stake. You will remind your dad about the meat. Won't you? Das Einzige, was ich interessant finde, ist, dass er seine Frau mit Mrs. Potsdam anspricht. Ja, und sie ihn mit Mr. Potsdam. Ja, und, und seine Frau genauso ausschaut wie Steves Mutter. Tell me about this wedding. Well, it looks like we're going to have to hold the wedding down at the funeral parlor, since I'm not a member of the lodge. <lacht> Mr. Moynihan has given his okay, and your father is going to cater the affair with plenty of meat. Why are you so anxious to get into the lodge? There's wonders inside. I've heard there's more meat in there than they know what to do. Now that you're of age, Steve, you might go down to the post office and fill out a lodge application. They're always looking for new blood. Tja, wenn es ginge. Tja, naja. Haben wir keine Applications mehr. Oh, das mehr. kommt schon noch. Ja, Meat haben wir noch, ne? Meat, ja. Meat is the foundation of any decent society. Everyone needs at least three servings of red meat a day. And anyone who says otherwise is a commie. And once you're married to Stephanie, I'll be part of the family too. And your father will give me all the meat I want. <sighs> kind of makes up for not getting into the lodge. Good. Ah, uh, father. Father noch, genau. I haven't seen my father. He's locked in a room. He's not going to die, is he? Like I said, I don't know. That woman, Mom, tends to him herself. Well, next time you see him, be sure to tell him that I said hello. And tell him that I'm praying for his speedy recovery. And also, would you remind him about the meat? Especially about the meat. Yeah, fine. If I see him. You should be more concerned. If he dies, then who's going to take over the slaughterhouse? Who's going to tend to the meat? I guess as his son, you'd take over. Right? Slaughterhouse, Mark. Slaughterhouse. I can't imagine a better job than working in a slaughterhouse. Um... Yeah. Sure, it'd be just dandy. And you can't argue with success. Everyone in Harvest gets their meat from your dad. What a grand business to go into. Oh, sure. Cutting animals open may not be much fun. Reaching into their bodies and yanking out the bloody guts, intestines dangling and slapping against you, the smell of death and shit in your nostrils all the time. Well, those are all definite cops. But once you're done, 
my guts have been washed. God has been my guts. What are you left with? Meat. Rows and rows of scrumptious red meat. Now we give him the same boner, hey. Yeah, then we're going flesh. Good. Also, the Stephanie has house arrest, and we must now just ask if we can go up. Hello, Steve. Have you floss today? Die hat meine Frisur. Ja. Honestly, you men can insult a woman without even knowing you've done it. What a horrible thing to say. You're both standing around baking cookies. Same kind of dress. Same pearls. So bizarre. There's nothing bizarre about baking cookies. The Harvest Charity Bake Sale is Friday, you know, and by gosh, Mrs. Marvin Potsdam Jr. can be counted on to do her share. Mm, Pots? Just because I'm doing housework doesn't mean I have to be a drudge. It's a wife's duty to look good for her husband at all times. What's wrong with wearing pearls, for heaven's sake? Nothing, but you look like June Cleaver. Some kind of sitcom mom. Sitcom? Jeez, you know. A situation comedy. The weird part is, I can't remember how I know that. I'm much too busy with housework to watch TV. Maybe Mr. Potsdam would know about sitcoms. Stephanie doesn't watch TV, though. She's grounded. Mr. Potsdam feels there's too much at stake to allow Stephanie to run around loose. She doesn't want to get married either, huh? Are you saying you don't want to marry my daughter? I don't know your daughter, Mrs. Potsdam. Why is she grounded? Afraid she'll run away before the wedding? No! She's as delighted as we are about the wedding, every bit as delighted as we are. But she might get hit by a car, or a falling piano, or who knows what. Mr. Poston wants us all to be one happy family, and he doesn't want to risk anything happening at the last minute. Good. Mm-hmm. Good. Fragen wir mal, ob wir sie sehen dürfen. Na gut. Not a chance, Steve. Mr. Poston wouldn't like it. If you'd like to see her, it's fine with me. Go upstairs and turn right. Now, excuse me. I'm trying to get ready for the bake sale. Schauen wir mal hoch, oder? Um, schauen wir mal bake sale. This charity bake sale. What is it supposed to benefit? Oh, I just like talking about gruesome subjects. When you get right down to it, all charity is pretty ugly, isn't it? I don't follow. Ask Mr. Moynihan. He's organized this event in conjunction with the lodge, naturally. Ah, uh, where is this? Mr. Moynihan runs the Wayward Hotel and the Shady Oaks Funeral Parlor. It's rumored he has connections with the Lodge. But the Order keeps that kind of thing secret. So Mr. Poston has tried to get him to put in a good word for his Lodge application. But so far... What can you tell me about the Lodge? Just that they're exclusive and secretive. If you're curious, you ought to pick up a lodge application at the post office and take it over to the sergeant at arms. Isn't that a thought? Forget Mr. Potsdam. If you became a member of the order, we could hold the wedding inside the lodge. My, wouldn't that be lovely? Oh my God! I got a sergeant at arms. Tell me about this wedding. Well, it's set for three weeks. We're holding it over at Shady Oaks. Mr. Moynihan's funeral parlor. Say what? Now, I know it's not a very romantic place, but there's nowhere else to hold it. Thanks to Mr. Potsdam. Okay. Ja. Ja. Give my regards to your parents. Good. I think in the kitchen we can't do anything. Yep, now let's go to Stephanie. Hoch. Die Frau, die wir heiraten sollen, die wir gar nicht kennen. Klasse, what is this? This is your thing? Bücher? Bücher, Schuhe. Ah, baby shoes. Good. And what was the first right? That was the bathroom, right? Um. The right was the bathroom. But let's go first to Stephanie. Who are you? What are you doing in my room? Haven't you heard? We're getting married. So, you're the one. Steve, isn't it? You mean, you don't know me? I mean, I don't know anyone. I don't remember anything. How many times do I have to say it? Just one, Stephanie, because I can't remember a damn thing either. Really? Oh, God, I thought it was just me. You're not alone. 
Can you tell me what's going on here? Those people downstairs have locked me in my room. They say I'm grounded until the wedding. Wenigstens eine normale Person, die uns versteht. They claim to be my parents. I can't dispute it because I can't remember for sure one way or the other, but it doesn't feel right. Um, ja. Ja. I believe you. Maybe some of these people believe you too. Maybe they're playing dumb. Why? Maybe they're responsible. Either way, something really weird is going on here. I've got to escape, and so do you. Because in a way, whether you know it or not, I think we're both grounded. Yeah, in harvest, no? It's been hell. They treat me well, but they won't let me leave this room. Not even to go out in the yard. Not until the wedding. They won't tell you why? Each one blames the other for grounding me. They make up different excuses. Different things I did. None of which I remember. So I sit up here. Watch the world outside my window. And listen to the noises in the house. Darf die dann nicht mehr aufs Klo, wenn sie sie hier eingesperrt haben? Wo machen die dann Pupu? Ne, doch, die dafür nur nicht raus in den Yard oder sowas. Ach so. Ist ja Hausarrest, nicht Stubenarrest. Zimmerarrest. Ähm. Um. Every morning a weird boy comes to the house and picks up the paper. He doesn't deliver the paper. He picks up scrap paper that Miss Potsdam sets out on the porch for him. Some morning she forgets. And the boy gets furious. Gives me the creeps. Anything else you can tell me? I hear these weird scraping sounds in the bathroom sometimes. Like something is sliding along the wall. Claws, maybe. And Mr. Potsdam. I don't like the way my dear daddy looks at me. Both of them are always watching me. Especially him. You don't think they're dangerous, do you? I think this whole place is dangerous. I think we've got to escape. Before it's too late. Okay, escape. Weg. <coughs> escape? Harvest is a prison, Steve. Don't forget that. Yeah. Of course I'm right. Good, is good, is good. Lodge. Everything in Harvest seems to revolve around this damned lodge. This order of the Harvest Moon. They're responsible for this insane bake sale that's coming, and for the Harvest Blood Drive, too. When people talk about the Lodge, it's always in this hushed, reverent tone. Mom keeps telling me that women can't join, but she keeps pressuring me to get you to join. She's not the only one who wants me to sign on with the Lodge. That's probably the worst thing you could do. You think the Lodge is some kind of trap? I think all of Harvest is a trap. That's true. Maybe joining the lodge is the way out. Look, why not explore the town a little? I can't get out of here, but if I could, that's what I'd do. Maybe you can figure out what's happening here without going anywhere near the lodge. You're really afraid of the lodge, aren't you? I look at that building. All lit up at night, and I get scared. <laughs> I mean, look at the damn thing. <coughs> Seem like a harmless bunch of Masons to you? Good. Good. Amnesia noch, no? Ich glaube schon. Maybe my amnesia isn't total after all. You're familiar to me. Like we've met before. In another life. Maybe we really do live here. Maybe we were together and the same thing happened to both of us. An accident. Something. Neither of us has bumps on our heads, if that's what you're getting at. Have you been able to remember anything else? Anything at all? Well, I have had these recurring dreams. Just fragments, really. Strange, abstract images. Liquid, chrome. Probably just a dream. Well, have you thought about how to escape Harvest? Gut, ja. das war's dann. Und deswegen gehen wir jetzt einfach mal, ohne die Frage Come zu beantworten. Soon. Okay. So, okay, sie hat gesagt, sie hat im Bad so komische Geräusche gehört. Dann gucken wir uns doch mal das Bad ein bisschen genauer an. 
Als ob das etwas an der Wand hin und her slidet. Ah ja, Wall Picture. Ah, hängt, hängt ein bisschen, bisschen schief. schief, ja. Jetzt wissen ah, wir ja. auch warum. <lacht> oh, 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 oh. <lacht> Wer lugt denn da durch das Loch ständig? Und wie blind ist die, äh, ist die Frau, dass sie das Loch an der Wand nicht sieht? <lacht> und wie zum Teufel hat die sich jetzt so schnell ausgezogen und warum zum Teufel zieht die sich so schnell wieder an? <lacht> und hier ist jetzt eine Trashcan und da drin... Tja, Taschentücher. Mr. Potsdam, die ich glaube... verklebt sind. <lacht> hm. Yummy. Gut, was haben wir hier? Wir haben Medicine Cabinet. Ah, sehr gut. Ich glaube, da finden wir Lebensenergie. Vitamine sind das, oder? Gut. Genau. Tampon. Tampon. Können wir auch nehmen, okay. Okay. Toothpaste geht nicht. Noch ein bisschen Medizin. Das können wir auch mitnehmen. Oral Loop. Aspirin, jawohl, da geht ja alles. Disinfectant. Das geht das nicht. Geht nicht. Und was ist das da unten? Bandage, Band-Aids. The Floss. Gut. Haben wir das schon mal gelootet? <lacht> Haben wir aber wirklich gelootet. Was ist hier noch? Uh, hier ist, glaube ich, nichts mehr gewesen groß. Bathtub, okay. Na, 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 na. Rubber Ducky. Gut. Und das Ding da links war geschlossen. Das war das war Closet, genau. Okay. Won't budge, oh mein Gott. <lacht> ah, ähm, Won't budge, ähm, undying. Undying, genau. Wie viel? Gut, dann haben wir schon mal das Haus hinter uns. Das heißt, wir wissen schon mal, wer Stephanie ist. Haben die schon mal getroffen. Ähm. Wir haben das verlassene Haus hier. Da können wir noch nichts weiter machen. Außer. Ah doch, wir können rein. Ah ja, genau. Tetsua Krum. Hier sind überall Bienen. Nester. Wespennester. It's not often that I get visitors. I am Tetsua Krum. The ignorant of harvest called me the wasp woman. A pejorative, no doubt. Born of fear and a poverty of imagination. I don't understand. The politics of honey, the Judeo-Christian rites of sacrifice and conventional taboos against unbridled pleasure are all responsible for the prejudice against wasps. Ich hasse Wespen, das wäre mein Albtraum hier drin. Na, ja, fragen wir sie doch mal deswegen. Regard the wasp. Wasps produce nothing for others, but only for themselves. Wasps build nests and more wasps, nothing more. They spread into eaves and attics, not to make honey for supermarkets, but to buzz and rustle on their own paper, perpetuating their own agenda, growing stealthily, surely, the most relentless of insects. The honey. The politics of honey are intertwined with the age-old struggle of the aesthetic versus the commercial. Because I choose to raise wasps instead of bees, I'm frowned upon by the community. Why? Well, raising bees is acceptable because they produce honey. But sometimes it's not what is produced. So much as what is performed. I don't see any particular use for wasps. Why must everything have a use? Is money always the determining factor? More slender, more aerodynamic than the bee. The wasp is a joy to behold. Dun, dun, dun. Beautiful and juicy. Isn't that enough to compensate for the little drawbacks? Ich find die doof, die Frau. Uh, drawbacks? Well, as you can see, the little darlings do love to sting. Another source of prejudice for the masses. And another reason to love them. Bees are like animals. 
They sting only for a reason, for sacrifice. They have no conception of individual sensation, of pleasure. Yes, a great deal of pleasure. The wasp is a sensual being, not a laborer. Hedonistic instead of industrial. Some think them quick to anger. In truth, they are easily swayed to ecstasy. They penetrate your flesh and the muscular contractions in their thorax as they pump venom could be likened to the muscular contractions of ejaculation. Each painful welt an act Of love. Die alte ist creepy, weißt du das? Ja, okay. Lass mal die mal in Ruhe. Mit der kann man noch was Tolles machen. Das mache ich jetzt aber noch nicht, weil ich noch nicht ähm, Gespräche verändern möchte. Gut. Äh, Johnson Res. Oh, <lacht> Bye now. Ja, den können wir noch Okay, hingucken. den können wir noch machen. Also wie gesagt, sorry, falls euch das ein bisschen zu langatmig gerade ist, aber das ist halt ein Adventure und man muss halt erst ein bisschen von der Hintergrundgeschichte was erfahren. Ja. Beziehungsweise von dieser Stadt. Aber das wird alles noch. So, talk to Mr. Johnson. Hello, Steve. How's the husband to be? Other than having no memory, I guess I'm all right. All right? You should be ecstatic, considering what you're getting into, if you haven't gotten into it already. Speaking of which... I heard Stephanie was grounded. Her daddy's worried about getting his meat. So if I were him, I'd be more concerned about Stephanie getting some meat. Uh, right. <laughs> And you are? You always were a kidder, Steve. I'm Mr. Johnson, remember? Glad you stopped by. Just got finished waxing the tucker. I could use a little relaxation. But since Edna's not here, I might as well talk to you. Edna? Edna. Edna Fitzpatrick is one of the snootiest women in town. I declare there isn't a woman in Harvest that turned me away. If I was interested, that is. Just because she owns DNAs, she's got all these highfalutin ideas about independence. And her with a little girl to raise. That child needs a father. And Edna, well, she needs a good, hard penis. Ja, so zum Schluss nochmal, jetzt wird's ein bisschen verbal. Ja. DNA ist übrigens ein äh, Diner in der Stadt. Edna's Diner, genau. Das ist das DNA, was die äh, besitzt. I'll admit DNA's Diner does good business. But money isn't everything to a woman. Can money keep you warm at night? Can you wrap your thighs around it? Rake bloody gases in its back with your painted hollered fingernails? Edna! Edna! So, how's Stephanie? Toll! <laughs> oh, yeah. Speaking of Stephanie, I still haven't gotten an invitation to the wedding yet. I don't have anything to do with that. That's okay. Personally, I'd prefer a pass to the honeymoon. You could use the back seat of my Tucker for the maiden voyage. It's plenty big. Believe you me. I'd drive you around. And I wouldn't look in the back seat. I guarantee it. Though if you'd like to come up front and take the wheel a while, I wouldn't say nay. Yeehaw! <lacht> Kleiner Perversling, hä? Huh? Heck of an automobile, isn't she? Damn shame I have to sit out here and watch over her all the time. But if I didn't, those stupid kids might scratch her up playing ball. Um. Don't see why not, but don't touch her. I'm mighty particular about my Tucker. I had the garage remodeled like a fortress, so I could lock her up at night and get some sleep. I'm sure she's safe enough inside. A few months back, someone broke into my house, trying to get into the garage. 
I had to gripe like hell before the sheriff agreed to start the evening patrols and instigate the curfew. Edna, glaube ich, können wir noch machen, ne? Nee, das war doch dieses Edna, Edna, glaube ich. Sicher? Schau mal drauf. Edna Fitzpatrick. Das ist mit dem Penis, ja, stimmt, genau. genau. <lacht> Child? Penis! <lacht> ja, genau, bitte mal Penis, das ist interessant. What makes you so sure she needs a penis? You saying Edna's getting it from someone else? Like maybe that... Damn Sheriff Dwayne Dwayne? He's over at DNA's dining every day from noon to one. Eating his dead gum pie. And I got a feeling he'd like Edna for dessert. Sure it's the only diner in town. But I'm sure he's got more on his mind than food. Penis. Child, glaube ich, kann man noch machen, ne? Child, kannst du mal reinschreiben, ne? Karen's only five genau. years old. Since Mr. Fitzpatrick passed away, in Edna's arms and legs, I might add, Edna's been raising Karen on her own. What a shame. To deprive a little girl of a positive male role model and her mama of a fine, stiff penis. <lacht> okay, das ist ja perfekt jetzt, zum Beenden. Ja, was? Nee, äh, zum Abschluss machen wir jetzt noch die geilste Verabschiedung überhaupt. Achtet mal dabei auf sein Gesicht. Wir, ich, wir finden das bis heute so urkomisch. Bye now. <lacht> das war Bye now. Bye now. Okay, ähm, ich glaube, mehr Zeit haben wir jetzt äh, nicht mehr, um noch groß was anderes erstmal anzuschauen. Ähm, das war jetzt ein Stündchen. Jawohl. Und wir haben jetzt die ersten zwei Sektionen durch. Die anderen werden wahrscheinlich jetzt nicht so lange dauern. Und keine Sorge, das denke ich. Ich glaube, das dürfte eigentlich schon bald los. Ja, wenn wir die Stadt das erste Mal Zeug. komplett, wir haben jetzt den zweiten Quadranten fertig. Wenn wir die anderen beiden beim nächsten Mal noch fertig haben, dann geht es, glaube ich, so richtig los. Und man merkt, merkt halt Schritt für Schritt, wie es immer kranker wird. Und das fängt halt alles normal an. Ja. Und man schaut dass sich mal die Stadt an, um ein bisschen Wissen zu kriegen, was hier eigentlich abgeht. Das passt schon. Aber bleibt dran. Bleib also, dran, wir haben echt Angst, dass dieses Video ähm, viele Leute irgendwie so richtig krass schocken könnte. Also, richtig übel. Ja, jetzt nicht, weil wir, weil sie erschrecken, sondern eigentlich, glaube ich, eher... Aber es einfach moralisch krank, ist moralisch einfach krank, Moralisch und, und, und... Egal. Das seht ihr schon. <lacht> gut, dann war's Toll, das dass die wartet schon für schon heute. Ähm, dann ja, sehen wir uns das nächste Mal, ne? Also dann, bye now. Bye now.